Welcome. In this video, I will unbox, set up, and have a little bit of an overview for this product. The DHP Emily Convertible Linen Futon. So it arrived in this beat up box. I was a little bit worried something might be scratched or damaged, but everything is completely fine. The futon comes folded in half. You could easily store this in a closet. Now let's set this thing up. The setup is really easy and will take only a few minutes. Everything you need will be stored in this pouch. Inside are the screws, allen wrenches, and six legs. The metal on the legs is very light, but the metal doesn't look or feel too cheap. I'm going to start in the back, so I need the legs with the stickers labeled D. The order is irrelevant, you can do whatever legs first you want. For these two legs, there are no tools required, just twist in. After you've got those really tight, grab the two legs labeled E. They go in the middle. These two legs will use the eight smaller screws and also smaller Allen wrench. This futon comes in four different colors, black, gray, navy, and vanilla. This is the gray model. The black and vanilla are like a fake leather, and the gray and navy blue are made of linen fabric. These two legs are in the middle where the couch folds up, so, so make, make sure, sure everything's really secure. The remaining two legs both shoot outwards. These will take the remaining six bigger screws and also the bigger Allen wrench. So B on this side and C on the other side. The folding option is pretty nice for storage sake. The legs will fit right back into that little pouch. The price of this futon seems to fluctuate a little bit depending on which color you buy. I got the gray one for 160. I think it's currently 190. I've and I've seen, seen the black leather for about 145. At this price range, the look of this couch is, is excellent. excellent, but not quite the feel. More on that later. The setup was really easy, and after you tighten up these screws with the Allen wrench, it'll be done. done. So I've had, this couch, I've had this couch for about a month now, and durability doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue, but this couch does have a pretty big problem in that it's not very comfortable. The more you spread out your body weight, the better it feels, but sitting upright does not feel good at all. At this price, there's going to be a drawback somewhere, and this is where they decided to cut costs. Some of the good things are this couch is very light you can easily move it around obviously the looks the, the uh, different seating options and them being separate on both sides but comfort, comfort for being, being king. king and the most important thing i can't recommend this couch unless it's for like a spare room guest bed or a smaller teenager's room catch you on the next video Welcome. In this video, I will unbox, set up, and have a little bit of an overview for this product. The DHP Emily Convertible Linen Futon. So it arrived in this beat up box. I was a little bit worried something might be